Hey guys, Shauna Sparkles coming to you from the She Shed. Yeah. <laughs> right, I was going to do some stuff for you guys so you could have a look. But I have a problem. I mean, Brummel, Brummel, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I need to change because it's got that sort of pin. It's not really picking that up. I can't use it in our PowerPoint, and I'll show you why. Now, I need a pair of hands. I've got to sit you somewhere. See, our PowerPoint um, things are like that. Sit, you stupid woman. Um, yeah. And because this is that, It don't fit. So I can't use that today as much as I want it to. But oh well. What are you gonna do? Well, that's the bracelet I wanted to fix up. Buddy I probably showed you these before anyway. And those are the, that's the key, the key ring. You could use that as a key ring or a necklace. So I wanted to clean all this stuff up. And you could use that as a key ring or a necklace as well, but I think it'd be too heavy. So yeah, key ring for that one. And that is... For a necklace. Right, so I thought with what I did last night I could demold and we can have a look at those. I think I might start with these ones. These are for necklaces. Coming out really well. Again, I do have to go around the edge, but I do need to fill up in here because I've got a bit of a, a dimple, and you can see a dimple there. So I'll just sit that back in the mold. Um, this one I don't need to worry, I can demold this one, that's perfectly fine. That one. Um, there's no sharp edges, I just give it a bit of a sand down later. I might go this one. Oops, I won't go anywhere if I keep dropping it. Now these are the ones that I put stickers in. Um, they didn't really come out as clear as I'd like, but I guess if I polish them up, um, again I do need to sand this one down because I don't know if you can actually see how it's got the sharp edges going across there. I can actually feel that. It's a bit tacky, so I'll put that one back in the mould. My dog sitting up on the back of the couch. There we 
no, that's too bendy. They're not ready to come out yet. In that hole. The trouble is now that I've demolded it. I just yeah, no, it's not going back in. Yes, it did. Good. Happy about that. This one here, I'm quite happy with. And once again, this one doesn't need. Lying down or anything. It says hope, which is what I was hoping for. <laughs> I know. But again, I will polish them up. And I would have liked this one to come out better. Um, it says sing. I do need to move these rough edges out and but it, it's quite set so I'll just put that one back in the mold and this one seems to be all right I don't need to really do much with that one either again I'm going to have to see how the edges are really rough around the sides but that's really the only thing I need to do with that one. In there. Now we've got this bigger, big one. Um, these are the glow in the dark ones. Again, I think these are set. So, yeah. Um, just around the edges around here they are sharp but I'm a bit disappointed it didn't you can see a sticker in there but I've got air bubbles or something little bubbles in it but all around I'm happy with them Oh, except for this one, it's a bit thin and it didn't cure properly, so that can stay in. I'll put that back in there because, well, if I can get it to cure a lot more, and this one here, I've got a bit of a ah, what they call it, it didn't set straight. It's all come down one end. I'll show you. Oh, well, you can see how it happened. It just snapped straight across there on me. So I'll leave that one in there. And I'll just pour another bit of resin over the top of it later. Um, this one feels okay. But it feels sticky. And again, I don't know if it's from the actual sticker. Because that's where it seems to be the stickiest the most. But yeah, that's something. It's bent a bit when I pulled it out. But it's quite set enough. You can actually see the sticker in that. I don't know. If I can show you, I'll take over here, it's a bit darker. Actually, I'll turn this light off. Turn the lights off. We'll come over here. See? It glows in the dark. And I like that. Okay, I'll put these lights back on because it is dark in here. So there we have it. Um, 
Oh, I've still got one more to show you. <laughs> I nearly forgot. Which is this funny shaped one. That one is also glow in the dark, but I'll put a little bit of blue left over. Blue. Actual yellow. But like I said, it feels tacky basically where the sticker is. There. Doesn't feel tacky here or here, but just on where that sticker is. And again, I do need to soften it, or well, not soften it, but um, file it down. So, I'll leave that one out too. But yeah, out of all of them, this one. And this one's still got a cure, and some of them, not so much um, to cure, but I've got to add a bit more resin to them so that they sit just nicely on the in the mould without being tilted one way or the other. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, that's about it. Um, probably be a day or two before I put any more videos out due to the fact that I've got to go to my daughter's tonight and I'm babysitting for tomorrow so daughter's asked me to come a day early so that I can stay the night and have tea and a bit of a yak and what have you and um yeah so and that being said i will go now and boys are out there oh, but when i can find the adapter thing that changes this Um, oh, my nose. Itchy. Um, I'll bring you on that journey. See if I stuff it up. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, oh, well. Can't. What are you going to do? I mean, you either laugh or you cry. And well, as far as I, you know, I just do this for a bit of fun, something different, teaching myself how to do this sort of stuff, make jewellery, um, key rings. I mean, how hard can it be? The hardest part is getting the ratio mixed with the resin, the equal parts. So, yeah, that's the hardest part I find. And because I've got scales, I bought a brand new packet of batteries to put in my scales. Guess what? They're flat. And I've not used them. So, I've got to take them back to the shop. And so I either want my money back or give me another set. It was a packet of 10 for $10. So, yeah. Not happy, Jan. Um, that's it, I think. But like I said in my last video, I'm not try that one again I'm not asking for money but if you wanted to and felt like donating a couple of dollars here or there I just want you guys to know that it would be very much appreciated gratefully accepted and it will go back into buying more resin more molds um, 
crafty things to go into the moulds to make um, the items look better and things like that um, and then eventually what I can do is sell what I make to make a bit of money but in saying that the people that have donated I will be in contact with you via email um, a lot of you I think are on messenger anyway and a lot of you I do have emails for one and uh, I can get your addresses and I'll send you a little thank you um, for helping me out like I say I don't normally ask for help I like to be independent and try and do things on my own but there comes a time when I can't always do it. Okay, guys, that's going to be it from me. Until the next one, we'll talk soon and peace out.